want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Hi, my name is Patty, and welcome to today's Ultimate Clean With Me. I post lots of cleaning motivation and organization on this channel, as well as stay in life vlogs. I'm also nearing the end of my pregnancy, so this will be my last big clean with me before baby arrives. But have no fear, I will pick up filming after baby is born to show you how life with a newborn is going, and to show you how I incorporate cleaning after baby. So if you are into that, I would love for you to click the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future content. But without further ado, let's get into this five day extreme cleaning motivation. You'll notice various different outfits throughout this deep clean with me, and that's because this is going to be a multi-day clean with me because that's just the reality I'm dealing with right now. I'm super tired all the time, and on some of the days, I have my daughter home with me that I need to look after. So it's just not possible to get everything done in one day, but that's completely okay. I used to have this mindset that I needed to get all of my cleaning done at once. That only left me feeling burnt out as opposed to cleaning smaller, more manageable amounts over a few days. I know I want to do a really good deep clean of the kitchen, plus I need to sterilize all the bottle and pump parts, so I need to get caught up on all these dishes before I do any of that. Also making sure to get my one load of laundry washed for the day. I'm going to have a couple extra loads to wash in the next few days, so I want to make sure I'm staying on top of all the laundry so I don't get backed up. In this ultimate clean with me, I plan on tackling all of the bed sheets and blankets so everything is all fresh and clean before baby's arrival. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. Yesterday's cleaning got cut short because we had a party to go to, therefore I'm going to have quite a bit more laundry to fold today. I have to start a load of Loki's laundry now and then hopefully later on I can work on the blankets and bedding. I'm just going to spray all of Loki's laundry down with this Dreff stain remover. It's not my favorite because of the scent, but it does the job at removing the stains pretty easily. Dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think. 
think you're beautiful And oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I'm not sure if you could see the shock on my face, but I could not believe I found the bottle of Vapor Rub in Loki's laundry. We searched all over the house for this thing and I ended up just buying a new tub because I thought I had lost it for good. It always amazes me the places kids think to hide things. Now I'm just going around collecting all the blankets so they are ready for the next wash. I don't want to be without you. This is something that I know for sure. Normally I would make the bed, but I'm planning on washing these sheets as well. So I'm just going to skip it for now so I can get right into all this folding. Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise Hey, now everything's alright We've been longing for each other I completely transformed this playroom in a recent video, so there is no need for me to do a deep clean back here. The toys are pretty well organized and picked up, so I'm just going to do a quick vacuum of the floor so I can test out our new mop. I'm so excited to try this O-Cedar spin mop and bucket system. It was a little weird getting used to the spin aspect. I had to make sure I didn't wring out too much water, but it was so much easier to use than our old system. I can't wait to use this on the rest of the floors. While I tackle the kitchen and playroom, KJ is working on the basement. We still have all the painting supplies to clean up and put away. Plus, he is going to clean the bathroom down there for me as well. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it so I was like, oh, Patty, Patty. Oh, but then as I, I was down here doing this, I heard the water, so I know you went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I figured, I was like, I would come down here, but I figured you'd be done then, and we could work on doing this. Doing what? Just kind of cleaning oh, up this general right. area. Right. Just like straightening things up. How cute is this? I went down to check on the laundry and KJ was already switching it around for me and he started the next load of blankets for me as well. It's funny he already knows the drill with Loki's thing. You always gotta check the two S's, stains and stickers. So that's why you see him examining all the blankets. You make me breathless and I won't waste this. And I promise that I I 
After he was done with the laundry, I had him help me straighten up the rest of the basement. It's not going to look perfect, but I just wanted everything stacked nicely out of the way. Plus, we need to pick up all the shoes and put them back where they belong, knowing they will never stay this neat. I mostly just wanted the floors picked up so we can do a good vacuum and mop of these floors because it has been a minute since the basement had gotten a good mopping. said I I will stand by you forever moving back to the kitchen I want to give these cabinets a good wipe down I know my camera doesn't pick it up that well but we really do have so many food stains and grease build up all over these cabinets I usually go in with a multi-purpose spray to wipe them down but today I'm gonna try a mix of water and pine saw to see if it helps break down the grease I'm not sure if it did the best job but I think I just need to invest in a good degreaser because these cabinets, especially the uppers, have just gotten such a thick buildup of grease, which is gross. And I won't waste it. While I work upstairs in the kitchen, KJ is down in the basement giving the floors a quick mop. It has been super helpful this day tag teaming cleaning the house. We were able to get so much done in way less time. One thing I didn't show while KJ was mopping, I heard the dryer go off, so I quickly changed the laundry around and brought Loki's clothes up to her room so I could fold them next. As I'm working on putting Loki's laundry away, you'll notice I'm hanging most of these items. That's because Loki has received so many hand-me-downs, I haven't done a full load of her laundry in a couple months. I just pick out the pajamas, the shorts, and the socks to throw in with our load of laundry so that they always stay clean. But after I get all this hung, I'm going to do a count just to see how many dresses there are. Let me know what your guess is down below. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain I'm actually embarrassed to say there are 39 dresses and rompers hanging in this closet right now. I'm not even counting all the matching shorts and tanks or all the t-shirts in her drawers. The good news is I shouldn't have to do another full load of hers the rest of the summer. I was starting to hit a wall on this day, but before I rested, I wanted to make sure and start one last load of laundry to finish off Loki's bedding. At this point, I probably should have taken a break, but I really wanted to power through the rest of Loki's room. I usually make Loki put all her books and toys away, but she's only four, so sometimes things don't end up in the right spot, which is perfectly okay. However, I do like to go through from time to time and reorganize or put everything back in its correct spot, so that's what you're going to see me doing right now.
To finish it all off, I did a good vacuum of the floors because there's nothing better than fresh carpet line. Other than making the bed, Loki's room is complete. I got all the toys sorted back in their proper bins and I did a major reorganization of all the books. This is actually two days later. We took a much needed pool day to relax in between. Now that I've gotten the bulk of the cleaning and organizing done in my house, I've been taking more and more rest days to really prepare for those sleepless nights ahead of me. Like usual, I started off with a load of laundry first so I can tackle the really important stuff in the kitchen while I wait for that load to finish. I need to find space in our cabinets to store all the baby bottles once I sterilize them. The cabinets over our stove are mostly for extra cups and decor, so I can definitely thin this out a bit and shift a few things around to make more space. In case you're wondering, I hold on to extra things like coffee cups because I'm a bit clumsy and I've broken a few, so rather than going out and purchasing more, I just keep all the extras that came with our dinnerware set. I do that with the extra plates as well. It probably sounds a bit extra, but if you're clumsy like I am, you probably understand why I do this. I got two pumps. I got the Spectra S2 and the LV pump. If you have any questions about them or want me to talk about them more in a future video, let me know down in the comments. Maybe somehow we've always known that we have chemistry, but always chasing after someone else. So this took me by surprise. Oh, yeah. too dirty, but I still want to give it a good clean with some white distilled vinegar. I fill the bottom with about two inches of vinegar to soak for about 10 minutes. Then I will just run a few cycles with vinegar and a few with distilled water to make sure everything is clean. I'm also going to wipe the sterilizer down with a Clorox wipe because the outside was a little dusty from being in storage. Even in my wildest dreams. Even in my wildest dreams.
I've lost track on what day we're on now. You can always tell the days Loki is home with me because I never get as much done, but she's at school today, so I'm hoping to finish everything up today. I need to finish washing all the bed sheets so there will be even more laundry motivation coming your way. I feel like I could have called this a laundry day video with all the loads I've done, but over the past few days we've had lots of unexpected accidents and spills, so I've had to rewash some of the bedding and blankets, but that's just real life when you have a toddler. Anyways, that's enough laundry talk for now. I'm gonna let you enjoy this motivation community music while I fold this load of laundry. morning long but now it's time to start boiling all the bottles and pump parts. I almost forgot I probably should be washing everything before I sterilize so I'm gonna finish up these dishes off camera and then I will fill this massive sink up with some soapy water to soak all the parts in. I'm gonna be using the Baby Gannix dish and bottle soap to clean everything with. I used it when I had Loki and I never found it to leave any residue or milk behind.
take a quick break from cleaning these bottles to change the laundry around. I want to make sure I don't fall behind, especially since I found my old nursing pads and I need to wash them ASAP. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me around. It wakes me up. It shoots me down. At this point, I would rather be numb. I'm sick and tired of emotions. They've never done me any good. Just to me up. The first few rounds I did with the boiling water, I just used tap water, but I decided to drain all that and use the distilled water instead. And I noticed there wasn't a film on the bottles anymore. Now, how to live without, without her. bedding I can do myself and later on KJ will just help me with putting the fitted sheet on because our mattress weighs about a thousand pounds. It's another day. <laughs> if you thought I was going to finish the rest of my cleaning yesterday, you were wrong. I promise this is going to be the last day. I can't drag this cleaning on any longer. I just need to come to terms that not everything is going to be perfect before baby comes. And that's okay because we made so much progress, which you'll see when I show you the before and after clips at the end of the video. I picked up another one of these containers from Target yesterday, so now I need to wipe the whole thing down and start packing it with some of the bottles and breastfeeding supplies because even though I've tried, there is still not enough space in this tiny kitchen to fit everything. Heaven. I just want to make you repeat it and repeat it. 
it again Yeah, you make the sky so blue No, nothing's complicated not perfect and I might move a few things around once I start pumping and getting into a routine but for now I have everything organized and cleaned and ready to go. I'm gonna close out the video here with a few before and afters. Even though I would have wanted to get more done, I have to be proud with the progress I've made. I was able to sterilize all the baby bottles, I washed all the bedding, and we were able to get the rest of the baby furniture set up. We also made a lot of progress in the basement, clearing up all the clutter, organizing the baby items, and just cleaning the bathroom in general. Baby Boy could come any day now, and I think I'm finally satisfied with how the house has come along these past few months. If you would find it motivational, I can compile a massive marathon of cleaning and nesting motivation, documenting all the transformations our house went through over these past few months to prepare for baby. Just make sure to let me know down in the comments if that's something you would be interested in. Also, I would love for you to click the red subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so you can come back and join more cleaning and organizing motivation and give me a follow on Instagram so you can see the first photos of baby boy. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. It really helps out my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!